Hi again, here we are to continue the Xcode navigation controller tutorial. And in the previous video, I created an app using the navigation controller. Here you can see it on this side. And it navigates through these three pages. And you could add as many pages as you like. And each page just has a previous and a next button. And right now, we'll give this a quick test and preview it. Um, right now, when you click the next button, it takes us to the next frame, but we're using the back button, which is a, a feature of the navigation controller. So it's kind of automatically putting this back button here in the nav bar at the top. Um, what if you didn't want to use this and instead you wanted to have a previous button that you created, right? And you can do that. It requires a little bit of code though. So let's try it. So right now, um, when I created this project as a um, single view application, that default project came with one view controller file called view controller and this view controller is assigned to this um, file here you can see um, if i click on the the view controller here and i go to the um, identity inspector you can see it says view controller at the top right so uh so how do we get um how do we get a new view controller file for each of these because you'll see that these view controllers don't have anything here Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Command N to make a new file. You can also go to the File menu, New File, okay? And um, I'll choose Source Cocoa Touch Class. And um, I have, uh, you know, UI, it's subclass of UI View Controller, so I want to make sure that I have UI View Controller selected here. You can just start typing UI View Controller and it'll code hint. And then at the top here, I'm going to call this page 2. We'll, we'll say view controller is page 1. We could change the name later, but uh, we'll just say this is page 2. And then I'll click Next, and it'll ask me, hey, where do you want to save that? So I'll save it into my project folder. And there it is, page 2. And when I go to main storyboard and I select page 2 here, you can see that the class name up here is still empty. So what I want to do is I want to start typing page 2 view controller. And when that appears, I'll just hit return to make sure that Xcode sees that I have suggested that, right? So, um, so we'll set that as page 2 view controller, okay? And I want to get this previous button to work. So I need to tie an action to this button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the... Um, page 2 view controller and storyboard in the assistant editor, okay? So this middle button out of these three here on the right, the first three on the right, the center one is the assistant editor. And when I click on that, you can see right now it's showing me page 2 view controller. It may not do that automatically. Uh, an easy way to do this is if you have storyboard open or another file and then you want to open a second file on the right side, hold the option key so I'm pressing the option key, and then I'll click on the file that I want to see on the right half of the screen. So I clicked on page 2 view controller, and it opened up here on the right side in the assistant editor. So now what I want to do is I want to add a, um, a IB action for this um, previous button. The next button is already taken care of in storyboard, but the previous button is special. It doesn't just go back uh, to another page. It tells it's going to tell the view controller over here to um, remove the top view controller on the stack and go back one in the history okay so to do that um, I'll make a little space here and you can see that this file right here page 2 view controller is set up as a class so it says class you know page 2 view controller and then there's a curly brace here with a matching one at the bottom and the code that we want to put in here needs to go inside these two curly braces, but not inside one of these other functions that's already there. So I want to put it here. And if there's not enough space there, you know, you can add a couple line returns to give yourself a little bit of room. So now that we're set up, what we're going to do is we're going to hold the control key and then click and drag from the previous button into page two view controller. And this will only work if page two view controller is assigned as the view controller from the view with the previous button. So if it's not working, double check that this has the page two view controller class, right? Okay, so now that I've done that, it opens up this little box here and it's saying like, hey, you know, let's create a connection. 
And what I want to do is I want to set the connection type to action. Okay. And then I'll call it previous button tapped. How about that? That's really descriptive, right? I got it better put an A in there. There we go, tapped. And, uh, and you can set this to UI button if you like. Okay, so now if there's a touch up inside, that means you touch with your finger and let go, then this action will occur. So I'll click connect, and then it writes sort of a little function here that's prefaced with IB at IB action, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna write a little bit of code inside this IB action. Okay, so you can't see the whole thing here. Um, maybe I'll do this. I'll close the assistant editor and then open up page two view controller. So now here we see it again. Okay, so, uh, so what are we going to type in here? Let's type in, start typing navigation controller. And it Xcode should code hint you UI navigation controller. And that's because every UI view controller has a, UI, uh, a navigation controller property that contains a reference to the navigation controller that owns this view controller. So anytime a view is, is created by the navigation controller, then the navigation controller property of that view gets set to the navigation controller that created it. So actually this property, if I hold the option key and I click on it, you can see I get information and you can see it's got a little question mark after it and that's because this is an optional and it may not be set. So you might create a view some other way not using a navigation controller in which case there is no navigation controller. Okay, so uh, so anyway, so there's our navigation controller. You can also, if you want to be more exact, you can say self.navigationcontroller. And that says definitely this navigation controller property belongs to this, this object, right? So, uh, so then what we'll do is we'll say dot, and then I'm going to start typing dismiss, okay? And what I want is I want dismiss view controller animated. Or no, actually, you know, I want the other one. I want pop uh pop view controller animated my mistake so pop view controller animated removes a view controller from the stack so every time we go to a new view controller with the navigation controller it adds a new view controller to the stack it's that's the history right so every view controller is one stage in the history and this the stack is the history so when we pop a view controller, we're removing the last one from the stack and then going back one view controller in history. So I'll start typing pop, and I want to. There's a couple of these that begin pop, so I want to make sure I get pop view controller animated, okay? And this takes one property animated, which is a boolean, and that is a boolean can have a value of either true or false. So I'm going to say true. And what this means is that uh, when we pop the view controller, should we animate the transition or not? True, we animate the transition. Uh, false, we don't animate the transition. Okay, and you can see um, Swift when I when I hit return here on Pop View Controller, it inserted this question mark, and that's because this View Controller property is a, um, a, a an optional, so it's going to force unwrap or you know unwrap that optional here, right? So that's why it put that little question mark in there. So we'll save this, and then let's give it a test. So I'll click run. Okay, and, uh, and there we go. So there's our first view, and I'll click next. And now when I click the previous button, it goes back to the last frame, right? So our previous button is popping the view controller, and that causes the navigation controller to bring us back to the previous the previous view, right? So, you know, if you like that effect, then you can um, remove the, the navigation bar in, in this way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the navigation controller here, and if I go to the property inspector, you can see it says um, top bar. I'm going to say none, okay? And that should remove the top bar for everybody, okay? Um, and then we can test it now, and the top bar should be gone. Yeah, so no top bar there. And now when I click, I can use my previous button to navigate, right? And if I go to the next one, this one would need another button down here, right? And you could do that. Let's do it really quick here. 
So if I, uh, if I grab a button, put it down at the bottom there, make it a little bigger. I'll stick it to the bottom corner there, kind of align it. And then I'll give it a background color. Let's make it a little bit transparent, right? And then uh, maybe I'll say previous. And now we'll use some constraints here. I'm just repeating all the steps we did in the previous video, right? So I'll do these two and the height and width. And then we'll need a view controller file for this for this view controller. So the first one is view controller, the second one is page two. And if I want to add another page, I'll do command N to make a new file, Coco Touch class. And this will be a subclass of UI view controller, and we'll call this page three, or page three view controller. All right, so I'll save that. And then now here's our, our file here, but let's switch back to storyboard, and then I'll select this last view controller. Make sure it's blue. If the outline isn't blue, it's not selected. So um, click there. You can also click on this thing, right? Uh, and then we'll go to the identity inspector. And then it says class, and we can see the class name is empty, so I'll, I'll click in there and I'll start typing page. It says page two, but I, I want page three here, so I'll choose page three from the menu. And then uh, we'll save that, just to make sure. And now we're set. So now let's open up the um, page three view controller in the assistant editor. So I'll, I'll option click on page three view controller here in my list of files and it should open up on this side. And I'll make a little space here underneath the class name. And then I'll control drag from the button here into the space there. And we'll call this um, previous button tapped. And we can use the same name that we used in the other class because that the two classes don't share, you know, variables. So this one is you know, just contained in this class. But bef before we click connect, let's make sure we switch this to action, right? And then you can switch this to UI button if you want to. So anyway, there we go. And then we'll click connect. And there's our action. And maybe I'll just type the action in here. And what we want is we want, um, we want to say self dot navigation controller dot pop view controller animated. Okay, so if you get one of these other pops, that doesn't work. We want it, It's got to be this one, right? And will it be animated? Yeah, let's make that true. And then that will be animated, right? Let's go back. Let's get rid of this thing and take a look at that again. So there we go. Self.navigationcontroller, pop view controller animated. Okay. Um, you know, these names are really long in Xcode, like the Cocoa Touch library. The names are very descriptive. They're kind of good that way, but the, it's very easy to make a spelling error. Do your best to try and get um, Xcode to code hint everything and let Xcode, com you know, code complete everything for you, right? So that'll just check your spelling every time. So anyway, so there we go. Let's, let's give it a test. So I'll test the, the project again. And then I'll click the next button and the next button. And now we'll try the previous button here. Oh, and it goes back, right? So there we go. So there's a simple example of using um, the uh, navigation controller and storyboard and you know pop view controller, okay? So thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful to people and uh, thanks.